welcome. I'm Natalie Cioldo Hinman, the Director of Pharmacy Services here at Denver Health. Located in downtown Denver, Denver Health is rooted in the heart of the community, and we are here for them for life's journey. Our pharmacy residents have the opportunity to learn in many unique areas throughout our institution, and I'm excited to introduce you with this virtual tour. This current year's residents as your guides, they will highlight the diversity of our program while staying true to our core values of excellence, compassion, relentlessness, stewardship, and learning. I'm extremely proud of this residency program. Thank you for your interest in it, and I wish you success in your residency search. Enjoy the tour. Hi, my name's Hannah Van Ochten, and I'm a PGY1 pharmacy resident at Denver Health. Today, I'll be showing you around the inpatient pharmacy. Welcome to the inpatient pharmacy where our pharmacists and technicians work hard to meet the needs of our patients. Every workstation has a computer and phone available to the employee. Staff pharmacists verify incoming orders, troubleshoot phone calls, check filled orders, as well as manage patients on medications that require special dosing and monitoring. The pharmacy has a prepackaged station for creating unit dose medications that get stored in our box picker. The box picker is an automated storage system that aids in pulling medications and holds over 2,000 drugs at a time. Other medications, such as large volume, refrigerated, and study drugs, are kept on this side of the pharmacy as well. There's a compounding area where liquid medications and non-sterile products are made, while our sterile compounding and chemo orders are filled in the IV room, which is USP 797 and 800 compliant. During the week, the IV room is staffed by a trained pharmacist, while over the weekend, the unit dose pharmacists are in charge of verifying these orders. All narcotics are kept in a locked narc room that pharmacists and trained technicians have access to. The discharge pharmacy is directly connected to the inpatient pharmacy where patients can pick up their medications or get them delivered to their room prior to leaving the hospital. Hi, my name is Niko Kovacic. I am the second year emergency medicine pharmacy resident here at Denver Health Medical Center and I'm going to take you on a tour of the emergency department. Denver Health is home to the first adult level one trauma center in Colorado. Known for its research and contributions to trauma literature, the adult emergency department cares for over 55,000 patients per year and cares for the highest proportion of medically underserved patients in the state. Right next door to the Adult Emergency Department is the Pediatric Emergency Department and Urgent Care Center. Here, pediatric patients requiring any level of care are able to be seen by medical providers in a child-friendly environment. Rounding out the department is the Adult Urgent Care Center, where patients are able to be seen for non-emergent issues that require immediate medical attention. All areas of our emergency department are covered by at least one clinical pharmacist 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Pharmacists and pharmacy residents are integrally involved into each area of the Denver Health Emergency Department, providing services such as antimicrobial stewardship, patient and provider education, medication therapy guidance, and response to medical emergencies. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Swingham. I'm the PGY2 Critical Care Pharmacy Resident here at Denver Health and today I'll be taking you on a tour of our intensive care units. We have a 24 bed medical intensive care unit or MICU as well as a 20 bed step down unit. We also have a cardiac coronary unit or CCU and it's housed within the MICU. So our patient population includes general medical ICU patients as well as cardiology patients. Our surgical ICU is part of the Ernest E. Moore Shock Trauma Center, whose patient population primarily includes trauma, neurosurgical, and emergency general surgery patients, but it also sees a variety of critically ill patients from other surgical subspecialties. A unique part of our surgical ICU is the biocontainment unit, which specializes in Ebola treatment. We are a teaching facility and we have four distinct medical ICU teams and one surgical ICU team that is comprised of attendings, fellows, residents, interns, APPs, respiratory therapists, and registered dietitians. Our ICUs have dedicated pharmacist coverage 24-7 who are very integrated into critical care areas and round at the bedside with the interdisciplinary teams and provide comprehensive medication management. Our critical care pharmacists also respond to medical emergencies throughout the hospital and service preceptors for all types of learners. We offer advanced therapies such as ECMO, percutaneous left ventricular assist devices such as the Impella, and renal replacement therapy. We have national and world experts in both our medical ICU and surgical ICU that have served on multitude of guidelines. 
Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm the PGY2 Ambulatory Care Resident, and I will be introducing you to Denver Health's Ambulatory Care Services. Denver Health has nine family health centers across Denver and annually complete about 483,000 primary care visits. Of the patients seen, 18% are uninsured, 54% have Medicaid, 7% have Medicare, 4% are covered by other public programs, and 17% have commercial. Clinical pharmacists provide varying levels of service to all clinics, but practice and directly manage patients in seven of the nine clinics. At the Family Health Centers, clinical pharmacists work closely with all providers, doctors, physician assistants, nurses, social work, and behavioral health. It varies by clinic whether the pharmacist sits in their own office or sits in an open area with other care providers. If the pharmacist has their own office, patient visits are most often conducted in there, otherwise exam rooms are used. We manage care for patients on our panel, but also are frequently consulted by other providers. Some clinics conduct co-visits for diabetes and hypertension clinic. On average, the clinical pharmacist panel includes about 275 patients. As a team, each month, clinical pharmacists complete more than 2,300 patient outreaches. New patients are referred to the pharmacist by their primary care provider or are identified through population health management measures. In one full day in clinic, we can see up to 10 scheduled patient visits. We serve a diverse range of patient populations, many of whom English is not their primary language. Hi, I'm Shannon Ketchum, one of the PGY1 pharmacy residents, and I'll be taking you on a tour of the pediatric department. Denver Health's pediatric department provides comprehensive pharmaceutical care to the hospital's underserved pediatric and neonatal patients. This includes a level two pediatric trauma center and a level two PICU. Our pharmacists assist on daily rounds with pediatric, PICU, and NICU teams, as well as respond to pediatric and neonatal medical emergencies, review discharge prescription orders, and consult on pharmacokinetics for anticoagulation, vancomycin, and aminoglycosides. The PEDS team has their own pediatric satellite pharmacy where all medications except for sterile compounds can be filled. We have an amazing team that consists of one pediatric clinical specialist, three pediatric clinical staff pharmacists, four cross-trained pharmacists, and one lead technician. The department provides coverage from 6 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. every day and on weekends. Hi guys, my name is Nicole. I'm one of the PGY1 residents and today I'll be taking you on a tour of the internal medicine floor. Welcome to one of our internal medicine floors. The internal medicine department has 132 beds spread over four floors and we treat over a thousand patients every month. In addition to providing exceptional care for patients, Denver Health is an academic medical center and is known for training healthcare students, residents, and fellows in collaboration with other institutions across the state. During the week, each floor is staffed by one pharmacist. While the internal medicine pharmacists do not usually round with the teams, residents completing the internal medicine rotation are expected to participate in rounds and make medication recommendations to them. When I completed this rotation, I was surprised by the vast variety of disease states that patients were presenting with. You will see everything from infections to malignancies to toxic overdoses, and there's never a boring day. Here is the satellite office, where the floor pharmacist works during the day. For clinical staffing shifts on the weekends, the residents typically will staff from the main pharmacy, but during the week, the floor pharmacists work from this office. Hi, my name is Maggie Cooper, and I'm the Infectious Diseases Pharmacy Resident here at Denver Health, and I'll be giving you a tour of the resident office and then the cafeteria. This is the residency office. It's conveniently located by the pharmacy and all the admin offices, so you're close proximity to everyone. Each inpatient resident has their own desk, each with two computer screens, which is really nice. Right now, you can see the plexiglass dividers between each desk to protect against COVID. There's plenty of storage at each desk with three drawers and a top shelf. Plenty of room to decorate and make yourself feel at home as you'll spend lots of time here. The ambulatory care resident has office space at their clinic, so there isn't a dedicated desk here. But there is an extra table in the middle of the office if the ambulatory care resident ever wants to work here. We have one laptop to share amongst the residents, but most of us just use our own laptops if we need one on rotation. We have our own printer in the resident office, which is really nice, and we have all the office supplies we need. If we ever run out, there's a supply closet in the pharmacy we can access. The office is stocked with a lot of great clinical resources, such as drug information books, RX prep books, the Stanford Guide, and more. We have a constant candy supply for anyone with a sweet tooth, and we have a Keurig for the coffee fiends. 
The most important feature of the resident office is our pet board, which features our furry friends. This is the cafeteria named Good Day Cafe, which is located in the basement a short walk from the pharmacy. It has several different stations, including the grab and go meals, home cooked station with rotating meals each day, Mongolian grill, soup station, taco station, grill, deli, and salad bar. The Mongolian grill is definitely a resident favorite. There's also a Starbucks coffee station on the other side. The cafeteria opens at 6.30 a.m. every morning and serves hot breakfast at the grill, plus other things like yogurt parfaits, bagels, etc. During the weekdays, the cafeteria is open until 6.30 p.m. and on the weekends it's open until 2 p.m. The daily menu can be found online at our Denver Health website called The Pulse. You can pay with either cash, credit card, or a payroll deduction, which is really nice. You can just scan your badge and then it'll deduct the amount out of your next paycheck so you don't have to worry about carrying around a wallet. I hope you enjoyed this tour of our pharmacy services and we appreciate your interest in our program. If you have any questions about our residency program or pharmacy department, feel free to contact our pharmacy residency program directors at the contact information provided here. Thank you.